So this is Market Square. And three people died here just last week during the 4th of July. Um, what happened was there was a shooting into the crowd of people here celebrating Independence Day. One of them was an innocent dude. From what I understand, the car that was fleeting from the shooting crashed here. And what they say is he pushed away a small girl, but he was killed along with two other people that were in the car that were part of the shooting. It's, it's really sad that stuff like this actually happens, especially when it happens close to you. I remember when I first drove by here, this thing was all like wrecked and there was glass and everything all over the place. So let's look at it. This is Savannah, Georgia. This is the first time you're watching one of my videos. This is Market Square. A lot of people come over here to party out. This is like a a downtown partying type of area in Georgia. Lots of bars and restaurants and everything. A lot of families come here. A lot of tourists come here. So imagine you celebrating with music, um, with your family, your friends your family, your kids, whatever, on July 4th. Well, it was a little bit late, it was like midnight. So a little bit after that, that a car ran up during that celebration, probably a few hundred people out here, and opened fire on people in the crowd. And it happened like right here. Market, city market, right here. See this, see that trolley sign? happened exactly right here. And this is one of those towns again, it's like... It's a tourist destination, everyone feels safe coming here. It's really quiet this morning, but... Right here is where the car pulled up, opened fire. I think they hit like three people. And then they try to get away going that way before they ran into a pole. Killed an innocent dude. I think he was the manager of one of these bars out here. And he's gone now. Um, two other people that were in the car with the shooter are also dead. But of course the perpetrator was a minor. A minor, he survived. Isn't that how it always happens? The bad guy freaking always lives. Where's the justice in that? I don't know, it just seems really effed up around here that that happened, because this is such a peaceful place. It's like a place where people come and have a good time. And apparently it was gang related. But it's as close to me as it's ever gotten, even though I lived in Chicago. I didn't live in any neighborhoods, or I didn't frequent the neighborhoods. I come here every freaking day, and on weekends as well. It just so happened that, um, that day was, like, not very good for me. Like, 4th of July fell on a Tuesday, so I worked on Monday. Tuesday I was off, but I had to go back to work on Wednesday, so I wasn't going to come out and do anything. I could have been very well in that crowd. I was just there. The weekend before, in that crowd, I was there in City Market. 
Hey, you just never know, man. You never know, as my buddy says, when your time is up. It's just F. 